bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, I'm Bob Hoffman, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Today's topic is renewable energy parks, and here to talk about it is Dr. Soji Ajilaju, the director of the Michigan Land Policy Institute. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Good afternoon. You guys are doing some exciting stuff, including taking a look at wind power. Absolutely, absolutely. Tell me about the wind power brownfield study. Well, as you know, Michigan has an abundance of brownfield sites. This is an old industrial state. Uh, there are 4,400 of those sites scattered across Michigan. They used to be uh, some of the economic powerhouses of Michigan, employing a large number of people. But as you know, the uh, um, manufacturing economy is a little lackluster right now. So many of these old industrial sites are no longer in production. Um, uh, the incentives in the state to encourage uh, brownfield redevelopment uh, in uh, old industrial sites, uh, but you know there's not much demand for for development in general, let alone brownfield redevelopment. So we looked into this concept of you know how much power can we really generate mm -hmm. out of these brownfield sites and how significant is it? And we come up with some very interesting results. And those results include the fact that there's so many brownfield sites, I understand, and the fact that wind is a renewable energy. Well, absolutely. We overlaid the, the, you know, the wind resource data that we had with the location of the brownfield sites, considering the sizes of this, the sites, and came up with an estimate of uh, the potential for about 4,500 megawatts of energy from wind alone wow. and another 1500 from solar. Hmm. So when you combine those together, you're talking about 6,000 megawatts. That's quite a bit of power. So this seems really like a win-win. It's a win because you're taking the brown fields and redeveloping them, and it's a win because you're having energy. <laughs> well, I use the term wind-wind. Wind-wind, <laughs> right, there you go. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's, uh, I think the state of Michigan uh, really does need to look at all the potential opportunities that we face here uh, as we transition to the new economy. The, the Brownfields one is one where it's a liability now, the incentives in place to do Brownfields redevelopment, but on the other hand, renewable energy is at the very forefront of our economic development strategies according to the governor. And so things like this uh, we really need to look at very seriously. And what's the economic impact? Tremendous economic impact. Um, the, the investments in this area would be in the neighborhood of about $15 billion. I mean, if we were to, if, if, I mean, after we've done some analysis to see how much, you know, space we actually have and, and done some of the engineering to see how much of the space we can actually put to wind uh, in actual fact and, and put to, uh, to solar. We're talking about about fifteen billion dollars and about seventeen thousand five hundred jobs. You compiled a report on wind, ener wind energy. Now, where does that report go, and what happens next? Well, several people are looking at it. The industry, the wind industry, the renewable energy industry in general, is looking at it. We get calls every day. Um, one of the things uh, the developers are asking for is, you know, how do we get data on the sites? So we're referring them to uh, partners and others who are working in state government uh, to get them some, some information and so on and so forth. But I think the state is also aggressively looking at this and, and looking at how to, you know, um, accelerate this potential. I know that the state is looking at a number of other options in renewable energy, um, and this is one of them. Governor Granholm's major talking points is renewable energy, mm -hmm. so it seems like it's right in line with that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. A very interesting topic on renewable wind energy. Today's Comcast newsmaker was Dr. Soji Adelaje, the director of the Michigan Land Policy Institute.